coming off a very good year, obviously. As a matter of fact, we're coming off a good five years. And, and, you know, we're hoping to keep that momentum going. We're hoping that we've gotten our program now to a point where it's not about building towards a crescendo as much as uh, each and every year we want to chase some type of championship. And I, I do think there's going to be similarities between this year and last year. I, I can foresee us uh, not being a completely smooth start to the year. And I only say that because we were rolling in four freshman defensemen. Um, we've got two returning defensemen that didn't see a great deal of time. So six of our eight are really kind of untested. I like the overall talent level they are. I like what these kids bring. It's just that you, you, you only one way to get experience. You got to play. Um, but overall, I, I, I like the pro prognosis for our team. I think uh, it's a team that can build into something special. And between now and the end of the year, I think we're, we're going to have a very uh, good team that has a chance to play for a championship. The expectations are you're going to be in camp and you're going to be in really good shape. Now, the freshmen have, there's no way they can duplicate what the other players have gone through in previous years. Um, and, but they're going to come, they're going to get stronger, and, and uh, the, you know, just time is all it takes. But overall, the culture of the team's wonderful. The players are dedicated towards the weight room. They've seen what it's done for the past players and our past teams. And it's not a thing where we kind of have to pull the players into doing it. They're, they're sold on it, they understand it, they realize it'll make them a better player. I feel like the, the strength of the team will be our forwards. Um, we do have a lot of experience, and, and we've got a lot of offensive flair up front. Um, we're returning quite a few players that have seen some really important minutes, uh, and, and a lot of them are seniors. You look at uh, Gerald Mayhew and Chad McDowell and Jared Van Warmer. Drew Durantes has really emerged. Um, not only that, but we've got some some sophomores last, or some freshmen that are sophomores this year uh, that are really starting to turn the corner. So all, all in all, I think up front, we, we feel we have four solid lines uh, and we have two, our uh, first and second line, that are, are really legitimate first and second lines uh, in college hockey. Well, the defensemen we brought in, the four defensemen, are, are all uh, pretty offensively skilled. Uh, they can, they're mobile, they can move the puck. Now, with that said, the, the problem uh, with offensive-minded defensemen is when you first take your next step from junior co or juniors to college, the transition of what can I get away with and what I can't. Can I thread that pass through or is that a turnover ends up in the back of our net? And there's only one way to learn it. You've got to give them the rope. You've got to go out there. And, and then the key is can, can they learn and mature from their mistakes? Um, and, and that's going to be one of the issues early on in the season is we have such experienced and, and quality forwards. Can a defenseman retrieve the puck, get it up to them, and, and still explore what they can do from an offensive standpoint. And, you know, it'll just take time, but I, 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 we know we, we do have two very veteran defensemen. We're really comfortable in, in goal. And now, you know, Darren, the challenge for him, he had really a quality freshman year where he built upon his game each and every week. By the end, he was as good a goaltender as there was in college hockey. Now, with that said, he's coming back for year two. You got to do all the things you did last year. You got to pay attention to details, and that means you're good in the weight room, you're good in practice, you're good in the classroom. All those things that he had to do last year. And if you, in year two, it's how you get the sophomore jinx. You start taking shortcuts. Uh, you go towards entitlement versus earning, and that's one thing he's going to have to fight. It's human nature. Um, Justin Kappelmaster, freshman goaltender, very large, uh, 6'3", 220, um, fills up a lot of net, uh, but he's got a ways to go, and he's learning you know, some of the things. Uh, in particular, he's got to learn to, to manage the puck around his net. It's a matter of knowing when to freeze it, uh, when to play it, and then, again, just takes time and, and experience, but uh, in terms of stopping pucks and looking comfortable in the net, he certainly does. And having Trace Pennock back there again for his fourth year uh, gives us some experience uh, in that position and uh, certainly one of, uh, one of the uh, great teammates in the locker room. Could foresee any of the four freshman defensemen uh, making an impact. Uh, obviously, Cl Cameron Clark's kind of the name player because he was drafted by Boston. Um, but nevertheless, you know, we're, we're looking at a, a group of four there that's really quality. Now, Chris Allman. Uh, one of the defensemen, we have moved up front to take a look at him there, and he looks very comfortable there. So it's possible one of the defensemen we brought in may not play defense for us. He may end up being a forward. Um, and it only happened because we had some early season injuries, and we needed a, a, we were short of forward and moved him up there, and he looked really good. It wasn't a knock on him defensively as much as 
it looks like a natural fit for him. And actually, we moved him in the center, and he looks really comfortable there. And, and, and it's not a bad crossover then. He supports the puck well. He can play low in our defensive zone coverage because he's a defenseman converted to forward. Um, so it's hard to say, hey, any one guy I'm gonna, you know, is going to step up. Last year, Corey Mackett, it was pretty obvious from the beginning that he was special and, and could create offense. I think uh, it is a tougher transition for defensemen, but we have a couple nice pieces up front that we brought in as freshmen, and uh, Dominic Lutz uh, looks very comfortable on the ice. Uh, Tackett looks really good out there, um, and, and same with Taylor Fernandez. So it, it's looking good. Yeah, coming in in August, I felt like uh, the newer guys kind of stepped up. They looked pretty good out in the ice. Uh, we haven't had a game yet, obviously, but uh, in practices and conditioning and workouts, they seem to work hard. Uh, we got a couple of good, or we got a lot of new defensemen and uh, a couple of new forwards, so it, it looks good. I think uh, guys are meshing well, and uh, looking forward to a great year. You, know, you just got to be patient. It's a long year. Uh, you know, every practice is a battle, every game's a battle. But um, yeah, you just learn. You learn the new system. You feel more comfortable year in, year out. Uh, all the face-off plays and everything, power play, it's all, it's all comes naturally to you now at this point. No, I think that definitely helps. I think uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of depth now up front, and uh, you know, it seems like we got even some incoming freshmen that can put the puck in the net, so uh, looking forward to that and seeing how it uh, translates on the ice. A big metric stick is uh, king of the camp, and I felt like we had uh, um, Fernandez was uh, second, I think, in the overall uh, statistics or whatever, so I mean, it seemed like everyone was in great shape. The numbers this year, you can even ask Coach Sensor uh, that they were up this year and uh, everyone looked good. So I was happy with it. It's an honor, but I think it's a role I can uh, fulfill. And uh, obviously with Shemp leaving early, it was uh, time for me to step up and uh, with uh, Gerald Mayhew, and I think it'll, I think it'll be good. I think it's uh, gonna be an exciting year. I, I lived with Shemp last year and, uh, you know, after games we'd talk and like anytime we'd have the chance, he'd, he'd spill some knowledge to me. And it just seems like, you know, they make it, they, they know when to talk, they know when to say the right things, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be a, it was a good transition, and it helped me a lot uh, having those guys be great leaders before me. Yeah, everyone's been gelling pretty good um, in the locker room and off the ice and on the ice as well. Um, we had a little getaway weekend together with the, just, the boy, just the boys, and that was, that was fun. So um, I think everyone's getting along, and, and uh, we're ready for, for Saturday, so can't come soon enough. I think there's a little target on our back, yes. Um, we were picked, I think, fourth in the league, which I kind of like being under the radar a little bit. But uh, like I said, we did win that trophy last year, and so every game's going to be hard. Every team's going to come out their best, and they know they have to play us. So we have to be ready for it. When I was younger, my freshman years, if something didn't go right, I'd kind of kind of get down on myself and, and kind of let it affect me the whole way. Um, I think the, the biggest thing I've learned is, is let it go. If something doesn't go right, you're going to have you're gonna have humps. You're gonna have to get over and adversity you're gonna have to get through. So I think my biggest thing is learn just, just let it go and just move on to the next thing. It's a great experience for me and uh, uh, it's, it, it's an honor to, be, to really uh, to be a leader and I want to lead this team to victory and, and, and as long as Jared, I mean as well as Jared Van Wormer and all the older guys and some of the younger guys can even step up and do something. So I'm just excited for Saturday and see what we can do.